Hello everyone, my name is Tyler, and this week we will be going over the rotation by speed tab in the Unity Particle System. Um, we're going to be using the same um, kind of uh, starting particle system as last week, except I've changed a few things uh, about it. I've changed, the most importantly, the important thing that I've changed is I've changed the start speed to zero, and I've given it kind of uh, a velocity that kind of grows over, over time. And this is because, like in sides by speed and color by speed, um, the, the kind of uh, speed uh, determining system that Unity uses doesn't really like starting speed so much and likes uh, kind of the consistency of velocity a lot uh, better because you can be a lot more kind of precise with uh, velocity instead of speed because uh, speed de de kind of determines the particle speed based on the shape of the, par of the particle emitter instead of um, just kind of no other variables. So that's why I'm doing that. The other thing that I've changed is I've also uh, kind of had more particles being emitted so we can see the rotations hopefully a little bit more clearly in this video. And actually now that I think about it, let's increase the radius a bit so we can also kind of spread the particles out a wee bit more. So um, without further ado, I guess let's begin. Um, rotation by speed, like I said before, is kind of similar to size by speed and color by speed, where the amount that the particle is rotating by is kind of determined based on its speed, and you can define the speed range in here. Um, right now we have it from 0 to 1, so let's kind of match it with our um, velocity over here, where it's going from 0 to 5. So let's change that right there. And, you can, and unlike in uh, size by speed, you can have kind of a constant angular velocity over your speed range. Um, if you're going to, um, that's basically only used if you're going to have your particle kind of go outside of your speed range where you want it to rotate while it's at a certain speed and then stop rotating um, at another speed and then rotate again once it reaches another speed. Um, but that's only for kind of very, very specific uh, particle systems. Um, but you can also have, instead of a constant, you can have it um, be in a curve where you can kind of match it with um, your, your, your velocity. Um, so let's try to do that a little bit. Um, so you can see here that the particle has zero angular velocity when it's going very slow, and then it kind of, as the particle gets faster, it starts rotating a bit more. Um, so that's pretty handy. Um, you can also have random between two constants and random between uh, two curves if you wanted to. Um, they're there if you want to use them. You can do kind of um, the same kind of things that you can do with curves and random between two constants as you could with uh, other um, other particle tabs in Unity. Um, so I won't go over those because we've been over them quite a few times already, but um, that's about it for rotation by speed. Um, the most important thing about it is don't forget to um, kind of uh, just zero out your starting speed because it can cause um, some problems with the, with, the, with the speed range and it can kind of be deceiving if you set your particle speed to like uh, a curve over here from like 0 to 5 and then you have your speed range over here from 0 to 5 and the particles kind of rotating when you don't want it to or rotating when you don't want it to it's just um, it can be confusing so instead just remember to use velocity over lifetime instead and to have your velocity over my lifetime match your speed range um, that you want so other than that uh, it's, it's the same thing as rotation over lifetime, you just have it um, being determined by the speed of the particle instead of the lifetime of the particle. So um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down below in the comment section. Um, next week we will possibly be going over the external forces tab in Unity. This is a pretty simple tab, um, so I'm going to see if it warrants uh, creating a video about it. Um, if not, we'll probably move on to Collision, which is, as you can see, a lot more interesting. Um, so we'll find out. Uh, I'll try to let everyone know as soon as possible, but thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.